we're going to go over the ingredients that go into my positively pumpkin pie and baking spice blend and then I'm going to talk to you about an exciting announcement that I am so happy to share. So what goes into our pumpkin pie spice and by the way thank you so much for seriously requesting that I share the pumpkin pie spice blend with you because um, if you hadn't been interested I wouldn't be sharing it. So this is really going to take you through the holidays for your holiday baking and it just smells so fragrant and it just makes me want to make a pie right now. So what you're going to start off with is a quarter of a cup or four tablespoons of ground cinnamon. Then you're going to move over here and you're going to have a tablespoon of ground allspice, a tablespoon of ground ginger, a teaspoon of ground clove, and a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. That's it super simple and then you're going to want a jar and you want to just kind of you know just like we've done with all of our little spicy spicy things our seasoning blends and what have you you want to go ahead and pour this into a jar pardon my fingers i know my fingers are orange um i've been I made a video for turmeric paste and um, I'm wearing it right now. So <laughs> that's just the way it's going to be. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to put that in a jar, you want to put your lid on it, and then you just want to give it a good shake until it gets nice and blended up, until you don't see any streaks indicating that it's not well blended. And that is how you make homemade pumpkin pie spice. Easy. So when you have a recipe that calls for pumpkin pie um, spice, then you can just reach for this and you can use it. This is going to render approximately a half a cup of spice blend. And that's a lot more than you're going to get when you go to the grocery store and buy those tiny little jars, which are going to give you maybe two tablespoons. And if you buy your spices in bulk like I do, then it's going to cost you considerably less. These are also a great option for a holiday gift. And maybe you have somebody in your family who has an autumn birthday. Maybe this combined with a few of my other holiday spice blends that I'm going to be sharing are a nice combination gift. You can wrap them up, put them in a gift bag and say happy holidays and they'll be all set for holiday baking. And I have an exciting announcement to share with all of you. I was contacted in April by Molly Green Magazine. And if you're not familiar with Molly Green Magazine, they are a magazine that is that focuses on um, homesteading and homeschooling and all good things like that. Getting back to basics and doing it yourself. Um, Molly Green Magazine contacted me, the editor in fact, and invited me to write an article for their magazine for their upcoming winter edition, which will be going on sale at the beginning of December. Molly Green Magazine is available in Walmart, among other places, but she did say nationwide they are distributed at Walmart. So that is really exciting for me, and I want to say thank you to each and every one of you, because without that and without you I would not have this opportunity to be published in my very first nationwide magazine. So if you've never seen Molly Green go and have a look at Walmart and see if you can find their fall issue because I think you're really really gonna like it. So that is how I make pumpkin pie spice. I hope that you learned something new and I hope that you can use it. With the holidays coming up, I can't imagine that you can't use this particular blend of spices. It really is very, very versatile. So I want to thank you for joining me today. And again, thank you for being a part of this ever growing community. I am forever grateful to each and every one of you. Whether I say it or not, and I probably don't say it enough, I, I really, really am very, very grateful for what you have allowed me to do. Uh, here on this channel. If you like today's video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present 
right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give this pumpkin pie spice blend a try and I hope you love it. I also hope that when the time comes you'll go to the store and you will look for Molly Green Magazine and you will see my article published for all to see. I hope you enjoy this and I hope you give it a try and until next time I'll see ya. We <laughs> did. Okay so we got this and we should have got two jars because this stuff is awesome. I have had a teaspoon of this. This right here is the result of my teenagers. Rick just literally tasted it a minute ago before he turned on the camera. This stuff is addicting, it's wonderful, and I would love to put this inside of a cinnamon roll. Um, 